Today, I am going to show you guys three ways to make money fast online. And these side hustles are for teenagers. And if you have like a job and just want to make some extra money, extra cash flow, then this video is perfect for you. So with that said, please like and subscribe if this video helps you out. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, starting with number one, let's start off with a really easy way to make some quick money. And that is through selling stuff on marketplaces such as Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, eBay, you name it, just find a marketplace and can literally sell anything you have. And we all have some items at our house that we don't need anymore, some old toys or something. And you can consider to just list them on to these marketplaces and see if you can find a buyer for that and make some quick money. But there's another aspect to this because on these marketplaces you can basically get stuff for free. So you can search for some stuff too. And then if you think it's a lucrative item, you can just basically get that, pick this item up and then resell it on the same marketplace. And maybe you can even, you know, polish this item or add some kind of paint or something that is good for the product onto it so that you basically give it some value and make it better than it was before and can get some good money out of it. The third side to this reselling business is that you can try to get some stuff such as sneakers that is limited um, and basically anything that is limited where people are willing to pay more to just get this item because they can't get it for retail prices then you can basically make a quick profit of this. And here there are some different apps. For example, you can get Nike sneakers app. Here you can basically always see some hyped up sneakers that are going to release and then you can try to grab one. Of course, it depends on luck if you get it and you need to be fast, but this really doesn't take any time because you just have to buy it and then list it on the marketplace and teenagers are really making thousands and thousands like that. So why not try it? The next way to get some quick money is to open a Fiverr account. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if I open a brand new Fiverr account, there are these top listed sellers on the platform. I am not going to get any kind of sales, but here is what you have to do. So basically you can just really easily in five minutes create your profile. And if you even have some kind of degree, you can even list it on there and you will be listed as a pro. But most of y'all probably won't have that, but that is no problem at all because it's not that important, but it's more important to have something unique. So basically if you are trying to sell your video editing skills on there, you can try to make a really, really nice trailer of that kind of stuff and then try to get some bias by maybe having a price that is below the average price. But then with the first deals, you will get some reviews and you will be ranking higher and higher and then getting more sales. And with that, you can basically just put your prices up. And also you don't need to stay on the platform. If you have a Fiverr account, you can basically go to social media, use your Instagram profile to message people and then get some people that might be interested in your service to, you know, check out your Fiverr. So just have some kind of passion and interest and you can basically turn that into real money. Now moving on with the next way to you can make some easy money in the internet and that is using a platform that is called study pool. And this platform is basically similar to Fiverr. You can just list your stuff on there, but here it's not your gig or anything else, but you can basically just list your homeworks or some kind of papers you have created. So study guides and that stuff onto this website, and then you won't have to do any work at all, but people will basically have to pay to download that and use your stuff. And with that, this is a really great way to make some passive income. So you really don't have to work for anything. You just have to upload your files and some people might find them helpful and want them and you will basically profit off that. So this is really easy to do and it really doesn't take any time. So I would really, really recommend you to do this. There are basically millions and millions of people on the platform searching for that stuff. So if you have anything valuable that you might think people would like, then you can just upload it. But now let's move on with the next one. 
Now the next method to make some actual money is to be a social media manager for companies or persons. There are basically people doing this full time and it's so nice. Since I'm a YouTuber, I know how stressful it can get to manage all your social media accounts and the email at the same time. And for that, a social media manager is the thing that is really helpful. And with providing this service for a brand or person, you can earn some decent money just by posting on their social media channel, in general being active on there and maybe even designing some stuff. So it's really not that hard. And to get this, nobody will actually ask you to do it for them. So you have to start reaching out to people and brands. But here it's important to know that I would go for smaller brands or at least not big ones because these huge brands with like a huge following, they all already have some people managing their social media. And also it's likely that I won't even see your offer, but definitely try this because more and more brands are coming to social media and the old commercial ways of promoting, for example, through television are slowly dying. So there's definitely a real market. So I really think this can be really lucrative if you find a good person to collaborate with. Now the next method I want to talk about is something called drop servicing. And drop servicing is basically using other people's service and providing it to p other people for higher prices. And what I mean with that is, so you basically, as I said before with Fiverr, you can go there and purchase, for example, a nice logo or a nice video editor. And then you find some other people that might need this, charge them something and then buy it off Fiverr for less than you have actually charged the other person. And basically just be the middleman and make some profit by just connecting these two other parties. And that is really, really easy for you. You won't need to put any effort into this because it's not you creating this stuff, but you are just the middleman as I said before. Okay, now the next method we are going to look at is something called drop shipping. But with that, I don't mean the ordinary drop shipping. So this is a really easy method. Basically what this method is about that you find a product, basically you can find something on Etsy, you can find something on Alibaba, and then instead of creating a store for this, you can go to marketplaces again, such as Craigslist, eBay, and then list it on there. And yeah, with this gig, just get some people interested in this. And I've actually tried this myself and I just posted like a picture of a drone and I got like two requests for that. On, for example, eBay, it's really not that hard to get people because the algorithm is just going to sh show it to some random people and people are searching for these products so find a good product that people might be searching for and then you can basically just you know get the product from another website and then just directly put in the address of the person buying it from you so i would definitely try this because this one doesn't take any time to you just have to create like two gigs on different marketplaces and then wait and you will see if people message you or not so there's really no downside to this Okay, the next method I want to talk about to make some money is NFT trading slash creating some NFTs. And this method is definitely a risky play because trading with stuff like NFTs, first of all, is something that can be hard. Second of all, you can lose money really easily. But NFTs are just so hyped at the moment. There are hundreds of projects daily that double in price. And if you can get in one of those projects, then you can make a lot of money. Also, most projects are offering a whitelist, which is basically that you get access to the NFT earlier than the general public. And while this takes some dedication and you will have to work for this, if you get onto a whitelist, then you will almost guaranteed get some profit if it's a good project. Now, the other side to the NFT business, however, is to create your own NFTs or even an NFT collection and then sell it to the people. Here, of course, it's really good if you bring some drawing skills with you because the looks of the NFT basically have a huge impact on how people feel about your project. Here, it's important to not underestimate this whole process because it really, really takes some time to set everything up and to get some buyers, but it's still a good way to make some money if you're smart with it. And matter of fact, it has changed many young people's life. Now the last method to make some money 
is in my eyes really really valuable and I think this is one of the best methods and that is to start your own social media account. And here it can be really anything. You can talk about a passion or something that you're good at on YouTube. You can post a picture on Instagram and grow your account through different strategies. Or if you don't want to show yourself or make it about your person, you can also just create a social media page that is based around a theme or for example, your pet. So basically you can just upload pictures or videos of for example Italy on your social media like Insta and then get a bunch of people that are interested in this specific content to follow you and like your post. The reason I think this is so lucrative is that it requires only little work and you can start to make money and it's something that will be there consistently and you will have it in the future too. And also it is scalable. Because once you have like 100,000 subscribers or something like that, you will get some traction and get more and more subscribers. And with that, you will grow your own social media page and basically get greater deals. So I would definitely consider to start your own social media business slash page. And that was the last method. So that's basically how you can make some money online. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel for future amazing financial content. And if you have any questions, just go to the comment section and I will try to reply. And with that said, I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye.